I'd like to have one final segment for building this air handler. Let's just detail this out a little bit. We've built a simple air handler. We put in there the return relief system. Uh, now let's go ahead and de detail out, out just a little bit more. Maybe we need a cooling coil. Uh, I'll stick that in the air handler there. And I'm just going to choose to not show the hydronic portion. So I'm just going to right click and that just goes away. Um, then let's kind of reposition this just a little bit here so we can fit a little bit uh, different thing in here. And that, we need to go to the airflow tab, and you can see we have all these little things that we could put in this airflow diagram. One being a terminal box. And we also have the, the hydronic portion of that. Let me just hook that hydronic portion up. And basically what that is, is this, that's the, the VAV box coils, all those added up. I just want to click on that VAV box and, and, and kind of expose what, what we're doing here. Within that VAV box, we have a list. Uh, and you notice that there are various components, and they're usually on this, this, uh, this airflow toolbar where we have multiple things that we can do within a box. Um, you don't want to have to, in many cases, detail out every single VAV box that exists in a project. Um, rather, you can, you can make some assumptions, especially at the early stages of the project, and this allows you to do that. Um, at the end of the project, you need to detail that out a little bit more. And so this allows you to say, you know, I may have, I may have to 10 of those 10 inch boxes and maybe I have two 12 inch boxes and maybe I have a 16 inch box. And you can see that the total airflow now with those quantity of boxes is approximately equal to the space airflow. So we're proportioning out the available air to the amount of boxes that we have. If we would like to edit each box individually, I need to click on that item. Let me do that one more just to show you that. See, I just looked at that list, clicked on that 10 inch, and it brings me up the second terminal box data. And what this is, is the, it's the specific uh, terminal box of 10 inch, and I can go in here and I can edit things, uh, for example, dimensions, weight. Um, I can set up the air conditions, all those kind of things right in here. Um, and that's how you get to that. So this little component, that it looks like a fairly simple one, but it can be made to represent one, a hundred, a thousand, however you want to do uh, components. And it's, it's quite a powerful feature.